What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're starting this video off a little different. Normally I'm inside of my garage or I'm inside, you know, already working on the car or at a track. This is episode three of Race to Sebring, getting the LS7 rebuilt. We're actually on our way to the shop that's gonna basically rebuild this motor top to bottom over the course of the next couple of weeks, a couple of months, depending on time frame. Um, a little backstory here. I'm on the highway, I'm driving to a shop about three and a half hours north of my house. Now, originally I was gonna go to a local shop in my area um, where I he came very highly recommended. I know him, we've had plenty of conversations and in the future, um, he's going to have a lot of opportunities to work on this car or this motor. In this specific situation, I had to make a different call. I, based on my previous kind of trauma with this car, I'll link the video above. When I first bought this car, I had to do some valve seal repairs. And this will kind of give you a backstory of why I chose a different shop. We we took it to a shop that was recommended. And it was a little bit more of an impatient situation, but I took it to a shop that came with a recommendation and I dropped off my motor there for a leak down test and you know found out that we had some valve seal issue and the motor needed some work. Long story short, the situation there and what the situation I am trying to avoid now is when you take something like this, head work done, a motor needing head work or a motor needing a rebuild, there's typically gonna be two parties involved. The mechanic, which is the builder, it's gonna put the motor back and it's gonna take it apart. And then there's gonna be the machinist. So basically the mechanic's gonna take the, the engine apart, take it out of the vehicle, um, disassemble it and, and transfer the heads and the block to a machine shop. We'll then do, you know, check clearances, bore and hone and whatever else they have to do. The problem lies when there's something that goes wrong. And in my situation, my first time, and again, it's not the same shop when I mentioned the shop that I was gonna take it to previously, completely different shop, completely different situation. When something goes wrong, what happens is now you have the machine shop pointing at the mechanic and they're both pointing, you know, liability for whatever goes wrong. And I'm speaking from personal experience, not saying this happens every time, but based on my last experience. And to sum it all up, they had to take my heads off twice and the only person that ended up losing was me. To get the motor moving forward and to get, you know, basically the mediator between these two shops, I had to fork out, you know, a couple, two to three more thousand dollars to cover for more parts and more labor to get my motor done right. And with the shop that I was going to go to, it was going to be a very similar situation. He'd take it apart for me and then he would send it over to a machine shop. Now, I will say the machine shop that I was going to, highly respected, very reputable, and also the shop that I was going to take it to get the, the disassembly and reassembly also barely, very, very highly uh, recommended and coveted in, in, in my area. But I was just having a hard time with that. I, I can't risk any more when it comes to this car. We've dumped a lot of cash into this car just to kind of keep it running and keep it happy. I want to mitigate my liabilities and my risks. And this shop that I'm taking it to, EIC Motorsports in Lakeland, Florida, came very high, highly recommended by my tuner who just had one of his LS7s built and done. When I had a conversation with EIC, I was still on board with taking it to the Miami shop. But after talking to him for a bit, um, I felt really, really good about the decision because they are not only the builders, but they also are the machinists. My motor will never switch hands. My motor will be in the same shop start to finish. I'm bringing them my, my long block assembled and they will return it assembled. My role will only be removing it from the car like I did and putting it back in the car and starting it up. And, you know, in reality, my risk of me causing any damage is very small. And the risk of a shop blaming another shop is completely eliminated. So that's why I made the decision. We're on the way to the shop now. Um, I'll see you guys there.